catch, heal, quarter turn, you go back, catch, heal, quarter turn. Same deal. Uh, good progression on from yesterday. <sighs> yesterday, I wanted knee drive the quarter turn. It worked, but what I noticed is that my heel was still grounded too long, and I wasn't making my transition to 180 the way I needed to, and so I ended up still being crossed up. Today. It made it was very very close it was very very close so I was not only working the quarter turn for my right side uh, I was grounding on time now what it is I want to see direction I want to see two right sector right sector this Grounding of the left foot, grounding of the left foot, knee opening here, and then this rem the remnants of my right knee driving the quarter turn, bringing the rest of the body around the left axis. Uh, that'll take time. I don't think it's going to take a lot of time. I think everything that we've been doing to, uh, is has exponential growth is basically what it is and spending some time on my 35 has been really helpful uh, um, an adjustment in the wind because the wind felt super shaky trying to set path with that month that 35 is just fucking tough but it, it also makes sense in my 20 and it makes sense in my 16 it feels not there so uh, I want to allow it to uh, happen naturally I want the path to happen naturally so it's not that I am a bigger cast thinks that can help it a bigger cast initially casting it out front which will create greater potential energy for me to pendulum limit back and then start the first wind uh, or push hands out on the first wind and make sure that the timing and the coordination of the set of the left hip is there. And then, so the initial wind, the first wind will start here and then the second wind will be here. So not path, but still on the right path, still on the right idea. And then in the correct path on the second wind into the entrance, but that's gonna take a minute. There was one of the throws where I tried to set path manually and it felt a lot better after uh, being relaxed in the winds. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing from now on just so I can stay in a flow state rather than trying to manually put everything where I needed to do it. Because first thing, um, if I manually put it, I'm influencing the ball here instead of outward. Uh, instead of outward. And... Uh, that and it feels like I'm trying to muscle it. I'm not looking for muscling it. It feels shaky. It feels like I don't have any control of the wind until I let it go when it hits line. But still fucking around with it. It felt good today and there's no way that those weren't PRs today. <clears throat> it's just I need to make it of course more clear. Uh, right side to quarter turn 
felt clear. Grounding felt clear earlier with my left foot. Felt really clear. I just need more of it. There's always room for more of what we're working on. So until I find that endpoint, I'm just going to keep going. I'm looking for an endpoint. So until I can find too much knee drive or not in coordination knee drive or to the point where I can stabilize the shit out of this out of this thing and not have to worry about anything um, there's still there's still more so I think 12 throws per training session is is good considering I'm throwing it every day uh, before it would be like 15 15 18 throws but that would be like three days a week 45 off of three. If I had four days, 12 throws, 48 throws, total volume is still a little bit more. So I think, I'll, I think I'm gonna go higher frequency, uh, smaller amount of throws. I think 48 to 50 throws a week is almost fucking too much because even Judd Logan was talking about a, a full length 35, uh, throwing it 500 times during the fall and during the spring. Uh, I'm fucking easily close to 250 and I've only been using it for not even a month uh, maybe a little bit more than a month but yeah that's that's I'm almost I'm almost going too much I think what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start uh, not splitting it up more but maybe ten, be a little bit smarter with it probably 10 stick with 10 let's get 40 a week 40 a week and then That'll put me at 120 a month. Over the course of four months, that will put me at 480. So I'm cool with that. Uh, with the 35, 35 quarter, three quarter wire. Uh, but what I want to do is I'm, I, of course, need to get back into my 20, my long wires, just because I want that same idea. But the p purpose of this is to make sure that if I can control the winds and the concepts and uh, if I can make these adjustments with the 35, the 20 will feel like it's a, a 6K, which it will. And hopefully once I get done with this, and it's, the point is to match my 20 with my 35 and make my 16 feel like my, my 35 and make sure my 18 and all, my, all the weights. All, if I can make the fucking 4K feel like my 35, I'm winning. Uh... Just because all of my thinking is done with my 35. Because it's slow enough. But if I can set the motor patterns correctly within a higher stress point, I already have the pattern. And so if I already have the pattern, the rest of the weights are, are easy. I just need to take time to figure each weight out. But I don't think that's going to take a lot of time.